Decades, those captives lived on their planet as slaves. Over time, the slaves were permitted to live among them. Eventually, they formed a resistance. Their primary objective was to steal a ship and travel back to Earth to learn of their past home. They chose me for this journey. I will span the eight star systems between myself and the ultimate goal. I will destroy countless enemies that stand between me and my destination. Destination Earthstar came out on NES in 1990 by acclaim. The game is comprised of two main features. There's the cockpit view sim stage, and then there's the side-scrolling shooter stage after that. In order to move on from one stage to another, you must defeat all of the enemy ships on your map represented by numbers. Then an extra planet will appear represented by a B with a box around it, which is the enemy base. You can change your speed using B combined with the up or down arrows on your D-pad. I think it's time for re resupply. There's a planet. Closing in. Damn it! I missed the planet! You can sometimes resupply at planets by approaching them at a slow enough speed, but oftentimes they don't even register and it just bops around and then flies past you which is a waste of time. The base levels are basically a bad version of Gradius. Uh, the controls are really poor. If you're going along and you push forward at all, you'll accelerate all the way to the front of the screen, leaving you defenseless from enemies in the, in the front. And when enemies come in from behind you, you basically can't see them in time, so you have to be shooting backwards at all times unless you have an enemy in front of you to shoot, otherwise you'll just get blown up. As you can see, many of the enemies come from beneath, and you have to lower all the way down to the ground level dish to hit them, because there's no weapon that shoots downwards. At some point you can find extra guys, but if not, you really only have two or three lives before you game over. To shoot forward you push A, and in order to shoot backwards you push B, which I hate. In a game like this you should only have to worry about shooting forward. Guys shouldn't be coming from behind blowing you up, it just doesn't make any sense. I used the Game Genie to get infinite lives, otherwise I would have never been able to make it far enough to even show you much video, so that's why I keep blowing up and I keep going. Skipping forward a little bit to the boss, I just wanted to show you that all the bosses that I played in this game are basically the same. They're just two random objects shooting bullets at you, moving up and down, and that's it. Well, here we are on level 2, and it looks exactly the same as level 1. Basically, there's just a couple more guys that you gotta fly around and shoot, and then you move back and forth, back and forth on all the rest of the levels. It's pretty repetitive. After I figured out of the controls, this game wasn't as bad as I originally thought, but it just seems so poorly made that it's hard to enjoy yourself. All the levels and the enemies appear to be randomly generated, which makes it really freaking hard because how are you supposed to go down and shoot these enemies on the bottom without crashing into those piles of crap? I mean, 
look at this level. That guy's just floating in the air. It seems like whoever made this level just designed it and then threw crap everywhere and just went with it. I'm gonna be fighting the boss here in a second. That's an extra guy, by the way. Look, you know you must be at the boss. There's two random objects. These look like eyeballs just going up and down, shooting crap at you. Ah, look, level three, more bad guys, same old thing. And now the level three base level looks just like all the rest of them. It's just, it's hard to play this game because it's so slow paced. I mean, there's just, the only reason it's hard is because they throw so much random crap at you and the controls are really bad. Look, I'm in trouble now. I'm in the evil pastry zone. Here comes the level 3 boss. Look, it's the same as the level 2 boss, except they just shoot enemies instead of bullets. They didn't even change the characters of them. Now we're at level 4. And honestly, I didn't even go all the way to the level 4 base because I just got so bored floating around doing the same crap. You get the main idea though. Honestly, I was kind of excited to see what the ending was like, but it probably just ends. So... I probably wouldn't recommend this game unless you have a lot of time in your hands and you're really, really bored. So I'd like to just thank everyone for watching, uh, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, and uh, stay tuned for next time.